Welcome back, everyone. So we've got another Bible study today. This is week seven of 12. So <clears throat> I think we're just going to go ahead and get into this, guys. So that means we only have what, five more weeks of Bible study after this, and then I'll get to a monthly or once every two months kind of basis or something. But this whole 12 week stretch is something my pastor has uh, commit asked me to commit to doing, and I'm rolling with it, okay? So I've really been enjoying these, and I know that we're reaching some of y'all. It might not get as many views as some of my, as my video, real, my normal Roblox anime videos, but I'm reaching somebody, and that's all that matters. So thank you guys for watching that I've been watching and sticking through. And today we're going to be calling it Win the Day. <clears throat> so Win the Day. God is with you. Do not give up on your dreams. So we have so many things that come to us during the day, every day that we live, that try to defeat us and try to keep us from getting what God wants us to have. So <clears throat> God just isn't going to just give you something without you working for it, without you striving for it, without you um, really pushing yourself and stuff. I mean, yes, there are things that God will just straight up give you in life. But God gave the children of Israel for 40 years a manna rain down from heaven. But guess what? That manna would go bad every 24 hours. So every day that those Israelites got up, they had to uh, go collect the manna. God gave it to them, but they had to put forth the work to go get it. God is what going to say, just sit here and here, I'm going to just plop it right inside your, uh, I guess they had some kind of pantry or whatever they used to hold their food uh, back then. I, I don't know what it was, was but y'all get what I'm saying. So you got to go for it. You got to defeat whatever's standing in your way. You have to win the day. So we're going to start out with Genesis 24 and 58. <clears throat> and they called Rebecca and said unto her, Wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. And they sent away Rebecca, their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebecca and said unto her, Thou art our sister. Be thou the mother of the thousands of millions, and let thy seed possess the gate of which hate them. So, Rebecca's day began as a shepherd, and it ended as a princess when you look at Rebecca's story, okay? You too hold the destiny of your life in your hands of today. Yes, don't let no one tell you you can't do something. Don't let no one hold you down. I don't care if it feels like their thumb is pressed on top of you and they're keeping you from standing up. You better get your strength together and you better get up because if you want what God's going to get for you, you have to do it. You have to find that strength within and you have to say greater is he that is within me than he who is in the world because that power of God is what is going to get you further than you ever thought possible. Yes, God's going to give you the ability, but you have to have the want and you have to have the drive to go and get it yourself. And once you get that stuff and ready to go get it, say, God, I'm ready to pursue. I'm ready to take over and I'm ready to recover everything that the devil stole from me. And God will give you that power to get it. So <clears throat> if you want a thing bad enough, you pray, you fast, you do it with prayer and fasting and supplication, just like David wrote, David wrote the book of Psalms and God will provide. He might not do it when you want it to, but if you want to win this day, you have to go after it and you have to get what God has for you. You have to be a go-getter. You can't just sit on the couch and expect God to do it for you while you're being lazy. No, 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 no. A man that doesn't work doesn't eat, okay? That's in the Bible. That's biblical, okay? So our grand business is not to see what lies dimly in the distance. But to, lot, but to what lies clearly at hand. So you, you know what you have at hand to do. So our goal might be way out there, but what can you do today to get you to that goal closer and closer? So focus on what <clears throat> lies clearly at hand. Learn like you'll live forever, but live like you'll die tomorrow. The Lord's prayer is three-dimensional. First, you got the past. Nullify your past mistakes. We all make mistakes. Don't let them hold you down. Nullify them. Repent. You have to forgive yourself so you don't let those hold you back. You got to forgive others because 
uh, holding a grudge will only be breed bitterness. So holding a grudge is like drinking a poison and expecting it to kill your enemy. Yeah, it ain't gonna kill your enemy. It's only gonna kill you. Don't let that bitterness breed inside of you. So if somebody's done you wrong, forgive them. Don't let what they did against you hold you back from getting what God wants you to have. Present, navigate today's task. Give us this day. Like I was saying, the manna expired every 24 hours. The children of Israel had to go out and get it every single day. And God provided, but they still had to work for it. In future, you have to look at tomorrow's possibilities. Lead us not, okay, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So, <clears throat> one, you have to bury your dead yesterdays. You have to own the pain so the pain does not own you. That's what I'm talking about. So people are going to hurt you along the way. There is no doubt about it. You will get hurt. But are you going to let that hurt keep you from getting what God wants you to have? I'm not letting it happen to me. There's been so many people in my life that have hurt me and they're going to continue to hurt me. But you know what? I just smile and I say, I forgive you. I may not do it audibly. I may not go straight up, tell them, I forgive you. I do sometimes. But you know what? In my heart, <clears throat> uh -uh. the moment they cross me, the moment they do me wrong, I give them forgiveness because I know that forgiveness is going to set me free. I couldn't care less about this is going to sound this is going to sound uh, pretty bad, but I couldn't care less about if my forgiveness sets them free because they can only be set free by forgiving themselves to a certain extent. Yes. Yes, my forgiveness might hold them back, but if they don't want it, I don't care. If they want my forgiveness, yes, I'll give it to them. But, well, actually, they're going to get it no matter what, thinking about it. But I, I kind of said that a little wrong, but y'all get what I'm saying. So, Philippians 3 and 13 through 14. Let's go to Philippians. So, this is the epistle wrote to the church of Philippi. Uh, that's why I have Philippians and all that stuff. Um, it's actually the church of Philippi. For those of you who did not know that. <clears throat> Verses 13 and 14. Brethren, I count not myself to apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. You have to forget yesterday and move on. Okay, let's go to Ephesians 4 and 26. Uh, these are these are good, guys. These are really good. Um, 4 and 26. Okay. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So, only don't hold your anger against somebody for more than 24 hours. Okay? Before you go to bed at night, you need to get that right in your mind and in your heart. You might not have the opportunity to go to that person and say, I forgive you, but you can do that as soon as you would like to. Some people don't want forgiveness. That's just how it is. So you might go up to them and try to apologize. And even if you didn't do nothing wrong, sometimes you have to forgive people when you've done nothing wrong. But the, the forgiveness is about you. Okay, don't let some the wrath, the sun go down upon your wrath. Don't be angry because God does not want that in your heart. <clears throat> Let's go to Luke 9 and 23. Gosh, this time is going by fast. I'm just getting into this. And guys, we're, we're about to start running low on time already. 9 and 23, because i got a lot more to talk about. Uh, <laughs> you have to take up your cross daily. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So there are things that we know we're not supposed to do. Okay? I'm not going to go through them and through them. Uh, but we're going to make mistakes, but you have to take care, take up your cross daily because that cross is going to be big enough to keep you from walking through that door. You know, you shouldn't go through, but the devil's going to kind of lead you. He's going to kind of, he's going to make it appealing. He's going to make it appetizing because the Bible literally says the pleasures of sin are for only but a season. So sin can be pleasurable. And as our human flesh, yes, we want that pleasure. We want what is appealing to whatever that sin is. But we have to take up our cross daily because if I got that cross, if I'm carrying it on my shoulders and it's wide out up to the wide and it's up top, uh-uh. That cross I'm carrying is the cross of God, of Jesus Christ. And when I try to walk through that door to get to that sin, it's gonna make my flesh feel good. 
that cross is going to hit that hit that door and it's going to say, nah, uh nah, you're not going through today because you took up your cross. Jesus is going to protect you. And that is one of the things you have to do in order to reach what God wants you to have. We can't be digging and diving into the stuff that we should be diving into. God ain't going to bless us like that. So <clears throat> we're not going to go to this verse, but 2 Corinthians 4 and 16. Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Okay, so you have to keep renewing yourself. That's what repentance is about. If we don't repent, we God, the mercies of the Lord renew every day. But you have to repent in order to receive those renewal of mercies. Okay, that's what repentance is all about. Okay, now Lamentations 3 and 23. Just what I was talking about. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So you have to bury your dead yesterdays and you have to flip the script. Okay, so when I say flip the script, the devil is going to try to take you down, okay? What the devil meant for bad, God meant for good, all right? So, this means hardships will be created in our lives, okay? But we cannot let those hardships take us down. We can only let them hardships make us stronger. So, <clears throat> like Samson, Samson, he, <laughs> he brought himself into his own hardship. He, 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 he gave into Delilah. He slept with her when he shouldn't have. She ended up cutting his hair off because she found his secret, okay? But the hardship in the end only made him stronger, and he was the hero of faith that he ended up being when he tore down those two columns and destroyed all those evil people, okay? We have to flip the script. Jesus was the biggest script flipper. He died, and then he rose again, so our sins could be forgiven. But the devil meant for bad, God meant for good, okay? Jesus flipped the script on sin and death at Calvary. Without your, without your Samson's, without your David's, without your people that just, in the Bible, that just messed up, and the devil tried to knock them down, they wouldn't have the greatness. It's the hardships that create our greatness, because we have to work hard. <clears throat> and three, you have to kiss the wave that throws you against the rock. The obstacle is not the enemy, but the obstacle is the way. Like I was saying, when you come across obstacles, the obstacles are gonna only going to make you stronger. You won't ever wonder why the Bible refers to being on a mountaintop. The mountain's hard to climb, okay? You're gonna, there's obstacles. But guess what? While you're climbing that mountain, you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And you're going to keep climbing that mountain until you get to the top and all the while you're climbing, you're saying, God, why am I having to go through this? Why am I having to work this hard? Why is this so hard? God is strengthening you for the blessing you have on the mountaintop. Because if you did not have to go up the mountain, if you did not have to, have to endure what you had to endure and build your strength and build your muscles up, you may not be able to handle what God has for you up here. That's the whole purpose of doing the obstacles, of gaining strength and going forward. It's all about the the obstacle is the way, <laughs> okay? So, whatever comes your way, you have to win the day. It's our greatest trials that propel us to our destinies, okay? If there is a destiny God has for you, which there is for every single one of you, I don't care if you're reading, if you're listening to this and you're a Muslim and you don't believe that Jesus is the Christ. I don't care if you're um, <clears throat> a Buddhist, uh, whatever. I'm not trying to make fun of the religions. I'm, I'm saying this. I'm saying this. I don't care what you believe and who you are. I don't care if you're an atheist, okay? Jesus Christ died for all of us, no matter who you are, okay? And he rose again for our salvation. And he wants to bless you, okay? It doesn't matter who you are, but if you turn to him and serve him, the devil is going to fight you because he does not want you to get what Jesus has for you, okay? I want to make it clear. I wasn't making fun of any religions right there. I just want to say, I don't care what you believe. Jesus Christ is for you. He is for you. That is what's so great about the love of Jesus because it doesn't matter who you are, what you've done, what you believe. He is for you, okay? He wants to give you to your destiny. Whatever comes you, well, you have to win the day. 
you have to win the day. You have to keep pushing. You have to keep going. You have to win the day. And every time you win the day, you're going to keep making it closer and closer to what God has for you, okay? Guys, oh gosh, I could just keep going on forever. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. But <clears throat> thank you so much for tuning in for this Bible study, especially if those of y'all who made it all the way to the end. Guys, again, we'll be doing some more. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching and God bless you.